Now seal your marriage with a kiss. <laughs> Carrie Gray and Timothy Walsh were the first same-sex couple to marry in Dayton on Friday. On a day-to-day -day basis, it's not going to change our relationship because we are married and we knew we were married a year ago. What it's going to change is the ability to um, just live on a day-to-day -day basis. For families that have children, this simplifies the question of who picks up the child at daycare. If there's an auto accident, or I bicycle a lot, if I get hit on the side of the road with a, with a bicycle, on my bicycle, then there's no question that he's able to come back and, and see me in the emergency room. The high court's decision is on a case that's a consolidation of six separate lawsuits from four states, Kentucky, Michigan, Tennessee, and Ohio, ruling that all couples have the right to marry. Montgomery County Probate Court has been preparing for this possible outcome. We've already cross-trained our staff, um, so we pretty much, um, we're ready. Minutes after the ruling was announced, Sky McKenna and Tina Gilly sat down, took the oath, paid the fee, and signed on the dotted line. After eight years together, the couple now has their marriage license. I don't know, I, you hope that it'll happen, and, you know, I've been telling her it'll happen in our lifetime, but there's always that, because... Every time we think that it's going to happen, another appeal comes and it doesn't happen. And so, you, for me, I don't think past um, today if it's going to happen because then our hopes get you know, crushed and now we can start thinking about it. Now it's here. And whether judges personally agree with this ruling, Judge Alice McCollum explains to me. That is one of our duties as probate judge. So if one has a religious objection to it, then that person needs to step down from the bench because there will, that would be an ethical question that I'm sure the Supreme Court will definitely reprimand them for.